in this question we're told that we have a ladder that is leaning against a wall at an angle of 75 degrees we know that it is reaching a window that is 14.5 feet the units are wrong we'll correct that above the ground and it's asking us how long must this ladder be to reach the window so I'm going to represent the length of the ladder by X first step when we're using trig ratios is to label our right angle triangle so since this is the angle that we're focused on this is going to be the opposite side this is the adjacent and the hypotenuse is right here because we know some information about the opposite side and we are looking for the hypotenuse we need to find a primary trig ratio that uses opposite and hypotenuse and if you take a look up above here you'll see that that has to be the sine ratio so sine of angle theta is going to equal opposite over hypotenuse plugging in what we know we get sine of 75 degrees is going to equal opposite which is 14.5 over x the length of the ladder I'm going to do my cross multiplying which is going to move the x up to that side and the sine of 75 down here we end up getting x equals 14.5 over sine of 75 and you may find that it is easier to calculate the sine of 75 degrees first and then do your division so I'll pull up my calculator and to calculate the sine of 75 degrees I start by entering 75 degrees first and then click on sine and I can see that it's 0 0.96592 we have to keep two decimal places so sine of 75 degrees is going to be 0 0.9659 Pulling up the calculator one more time, I'm now going to divide 14.5 by 0 0.9659. And I get 15.0 feet. The ladder must be 15.0 feet. All right, let's take a look at the second question. In the second question, we're asked to solve the triangle below. And when we're asked to solve a triangle below, that means we need to calculate all of the unknown information. So we don't know angle B, which I'll write in as B. We don't know side CB, and I'll represent that by X. And we also don't know the length of side AB, and I'll let that be represented by Y. Our first step when we're using our primary trig ratios with a right angle triangle is to label the triangle. So our focus angle or the angle that we're given is angle A. That means that the opposite side is down here. This is the adjacent and the hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree angle. If we solve for side CB or X first, we are going to need a trig function that shows the ratio between opposite and adjacent and that's tangent. So let's write that down we get tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent plugging in the information we know I get tan of 47 is going to equal opposite which is X over adjacent which is 11.2 I'm going to do my cross multiplying to isolate X and I end up getting 11.2 times tan of 47 is going to equal X pulling up my calculator I'm going to start by calculating the tangent of 47 so I type in 47 first trig and then tan and then times 11.2 and that tells me that X is going to equal 12.0 next let's calculate Y now Y is the hypotenuse I'm going to stick with angle 47 here as my focus angle and that means that the adjacent is still 11.2 so I need a trig function that relates adjacent and hypotenuse and that's cosine so cosine of theta is going to equal adjacent over hypotenuse plugging in what I know I get cosine of 47 degrees is going to equal 11.2 over y doing my cross multiplying y moves up to the top and cosine of 47 moves to the bottom on the other side I get y equals 11.2 over cosine of 47 I'm going to calculate what the cosine of 47 is so I type in 47 my drop down cosine and I get 0 0.68199 so I'm going to round that to four decimal places and it's going to be 0 0.6820 again getting my calculator out let's calculate why 11.2 divided by 0 0.6820 
0.20. And I end up getting y equaling 16.4. We're just about done. We now know that y is 16.4 and we know that x is 12.0. The only thing we don't know is b. We don't need a trig function to calculate b because we know that all the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 and we have 47 here, we have 90 here. That means that b must equal 43 degrees. All right, I hope that's helped. If you have any questions at all, make sure you ask.